Excellency President Sandra J. Mayadi, uh, he has uh, delegated me to be to come and meet our colleague, Dr. Lama Akol. You know, it's the same story of the liberation struggle uh, since 1983 up to now. He has been also a core member and a very strategic member in our struggle. Uh, he has decided to come home, and so the president said, I must come to receive him on behalf of himself and the government and all the people of South Sudan. So, Brother Lam, you are warmly welcome. This is your home, and you came as well. The weather is very good. It means. Good morning, everybody. I greet you all for having come here to, to, to meet me. I thank you for the warm welcome. First of all, I thank my uh, colleague, uh, Dr. Barnaba, for having taken the, the trouble to come and receive us here. I thank through him also the president for all the hospitality he has shown and all the uh, concern that he has been sharing all along. I see this opportunity to congratulate our people, the South Sudanese people, for the occasion of the Martyrs uh, Day, which coincided with yesterday, and we are still uh, celebrating it today. I come uh, in order to continue the road that we have started on the 12th of September 2018, the peace process that uh, we voluntarily agreed that we should, uh, should do it. I have not been far from it. Maybe physically I was not there, but I was uh, uh, taking part in the process. We hope to do the next stage is we demand the physical presence. If we were able to do the rest previously at the distance, this time we need to be physically present in order to push forward and take our land to the uh, design end that we have all planned from the very beginning. Thank you very much. Why did it take you so long? To come back. Why did it take you so long to come to, back? To do what? To come back. <laughs> to come back. I was in the process. I was in the process. And long depends on how long is long. Honorable, <laughs> <laughs> uh, during your resignation from the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, you weren't exiled. What convinced you to come back? That was seven years ago. And what we, convinced you to come back? We, we signed a peace agreement afterwards in 2018 that would convince everybody not only me so from here what is your next move my next move is that we are coming to implement the peace process and in order to prepare for the next stages as demanded by the peace agreement are you prepared last question are you ready for election are you the one to say the last question <laughs> <laughs> are you ready for election as your party. We are we are prepared for the election as part of the peace agreement. You know election is a process, it's not an event. Okay. I just wanted to find out if you're ready he to said the contest. Last <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not the last man. <laughs> I just wanted to find out are you uh, preparing yourself for for any context for the 2024 election? I, I thought you asked the question. Before. Yes, but uh, are, I wanted to know information. We are preparing for those elections. Okay. Whatever that preparation means. I, I wanted to know which You position. don't have an election without people contesting for elections. We wanted to know the position it? you are to take. But the other political parties are saying there is no election in 2024. Are you agree with other political parties? Are they signatory to the peace agreement? Yes. Yeah. Then how can they say there is no election? Do you accept? What did I say from the beginning? Now, gentlemen and ladies, or ladies and gentlemen, uh, 
a member of a liberation struggle that struggle all his life is back home. Why don't you give him a break to go and have a rest? If you have any questions which are political, yeah. wait when you hold his political rallies. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>